So here we have another pathogen that is pretty much unimportant in a forest setting, but it can be very problematic in nurseries. And I uh, teach this one in this class as a bonus species. In other words, it's not on your required list. But if we look at this Douglas fir here, we can see that there is some white web-like structures on the needles, okay? And so we see this white webbing and we wonder to ourselves, okay, what the heck is that? Is that uh, like a fungus or what? Turns out that that is a webbing surrounding a small insect called an adelgid. And adelgids are related to aphids. So they are plant juice feeders like aphids. And this particular one is called the Cooley spruce gall adelgid. And you say to yourself, well, wait a minute, why are we looking at a Douglas fir if we're talking about the Cooley spruce gall adelgid? Turns out that the life cycle is completed on the spruce. And you can see here that this structure that some folks have identified as a cone, say, look at these strange cones I found on these spruce trees. These are not cones at all, but they are the uh, hypertrophic structures produced by the feeding of the adelgid. So the Cooley spruce gall adelgid forms galls in spruce trees, and then it has a web-forming crawler stage on Douglas fir. So again, not a big deal here in Central Oregon with respect to our forests. We don't worry about what they're doing to either the Douglas fir or the spruce. But if you're a nursery owner, uh, the galls are considered unattractive. And in a nursery setting, you can see very heavy infection at times. The other thing uh, that is nice to know about this is if you know the life cycle, you know when you see spruce growing along a stream course with galls on it, you know that somewhere close by there's going to be Douglas fir because the two need to grow in fairly cl close proximity to one another to complete the life cycle. And we can see this tree growing right here has spruce really close to it right here. And this young spruce tree has numerous galls all over its, bran its branch tips. It will cause those branch tips to die at that point um, so that branch will not get any longer, but we have lateral branches that will continue to grow. And again, it rarely causes much problem for the spruce at all.